Pressy Sioux 75. This little thing is a beast. It's, uh, incidentally, it was the first gun I ever owned. And I tattooed with it and I changed rubbers and spares and whatnot. And uh, it's quite a hard case to get one in its original form and go have a play around. I've been for several dives with it. It's a little thing, 6.5 mil shaft, very sharp as it should be. Uh, yeah, it looks like 6 or 6.5 mil shaft, 12 mil rubber. Could load this thing one handed, but don't be fooled. It's not a little toy, this thing is still a weapon, as this silly kingfish found out. Now, it has a safety. Don't trust that, I mean, don't. Not that you can't trust a safety, just it's a weapon. It's loaded, don't point it at people. It will hurt. That kingy was about as round as my thigh. So think about that when you're waving it around. Don't do it. It's got a nice little handle on it. I do like the European handles. Your sort of the top bone of your forearm is well in line with the barrel there. So when it jumps, it sort of jumps into the strongest part of your arm. Uh, great little gun. 75 centimetres long from the notch to the front of the rubber. That's how you measure a spear gun. That's a perfect length for the South Island. Great for butterfish, John Dory, blue cod, Cherokee. Pretty much everything but a kingy. <laughs> I probably wouldn't go shoot the snapper with it. Um, I bounced right off about a two kilo one the other day. Uh, they've just they've got big scales on them. You've got to hit them at the perfect angle. Don't bother. Um, kingfish. Yeah, it happened. Probably shouldn't have. I'm not saying you should go do it. Actually, I'm saying that. yeah, don't go do that. I was lucky. I had a mate right with me there to second shoot it. But um, I kind of had to see if it could be done. Just proves this is a good little gun. Mm -hmm.